work today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! <laughs> hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Another school day afternoon spent successfully goofing off. Hey, it's far from over, my friend. I reckon we have another ten minutes before dinner time. How do you think we should spend it? Let's see. You want to play a video game? We could do some homework. <laughs> Good one, Douglas. You sound like my mom, except your voice is higher. Um, haha. -ha. Of course, I was merely jesting. Young fellows like us should be out having fun. Say, perhaps that would be an enjoyable distraction. Greetings, Boomer! Oh, hey, Junior Dudes. Righteous timing. Why? What's going on? A garbage sale? Whoa, most unfortunate typo. Nay, tis a garage sale, featuring only the finest items that were piling up on my apartment floor. Hmm, an old burrito? Savory. The Lazy Man's Guide to Laziness? What's this? Whoa, oh, sorry, bro. That's my lucky sleeve, and it is not for sale. But hey! How about this table full of junk? Well, what's so great about this junk? Not the junk, the table. Check it out. It's an old Star Surfer. Not just any Star Surfer. It's a vanadium-based Mega Surfer with hypercharged magnetic hull. Oh, man, it's the coolest thing ever. How much you want for it? Uh, I don't know. It does make a primo junk table. I got half a Krontar. Sold to the boy with half a Krontar. Yes. Thanks, Boomer. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Now, come on. Let's take this baby outside for a test ride. Oh, yes. oh that's Right. Oh, wait. We gotta get home for dinner, remember? I forgot. Ah, uh, yes, dinner. Well, hey, no problem, boys. We'll just go after dinner. So, let me make sure I understand this, Lloyd. You want to go out with your friends tonight and fly around space on some anti-gravity surfboard? Don't worry. I'll wear elbow pads if you want me to. No need to, Lloyd, because you're not going. What? Why not? Because it's a school night. You know you're not allowed out on a school night. But this is a star surfer, Mom. I've always wanted to ride on one. And besides, the other guys are going. You don't want me to be left out, do you? I'm sorry, Lloyd, but the answer is no. Yes, who is it? Commander, please forgive me for interrupting your dinner. Oh, is that Snagglefish? What do you need, Dunkirk? <clears throat> oh, yes, sorry. Uh, we have a Code Maroon situation on the bridge. I thought you'd better come up and have a look. Code Maroon? Well, that could be serious. All right, I'll be up there in a minute. I'm sorry, kids, but I need to go up to the bridge. Lloyd, make sure Francine brushes her teeth and gets to bed. And no going out. Oh. It's okay, Lloyd. You don't need to go out to have fun. We'll have fun right here, singing songs. Singing, singing, la, 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 la. Singing, singing, la 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 la. Singing, singing, la 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 la. Singing, singing, la 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 la. All right, Dunkirk, what is it? Commander, a large cloud of unknown origin is approaching Intrepidville. A cloud? What kind of cloud? I don't know, Commander. Maybe it'll rain. I like rain. This is space, you simpleton. It doesn't rain in space. Oh, maybe it's a deadly cloud of acid. Well, whatever it is, we'd better take protective measures. Dunkirk, raise the energy shield. Yes, Commander. Energy shield deployed. Very well. That should keep us safe. Meanwhile, station? Yes, Commander? Begin an analysis of that thing. I want to know what it's made of. Certainly, Commander. Till then, we wait. <sighs> it's a bummer, guys. I can't go. I would have called earlier, but I had to wait for Francine to fall asleep. That's okay, Lloyd. It doesn't matter. My mom told me the same thing. No going out on a school night. Precisely the position of my parents. My mom and dad said I couldn't go out because it's a school night. Figures. Just when there's fun to be had, our parents are always around to spoil it. Wait a minute there, Lloyd. Didn't you say your mom was on the bridge? Yeah. Well, my folks happen to be in the rumpus room playing canasta with the borks. Yes. And my parents are mapping the universe in their kitchen observatory. My parents are coloring. Perfect. That'll keep them busy for hours. Keep them busy? Well, so what? Well, so we sneak out, man. We head down to the docking bay airlock, give the old star server a test ride, and be back before anyone knows it. But I'm supposed to be watching Francine. She's sleeping. What's to watch? Not much, I guess. She'll be fine. Besides, where does your mom get off telling you to watch Francine? That's not your job. Hey, yeah, you're right. I'm telling you, it's all part of the master plan to keep us kids down. So what's it going to be, Lloyd? You going to glide or are you going to hide inside? Give me five minutes. I'll meet you at the airlock. Whoa. 
Savory. Here we go, my friends, the Docking Bay Airlock. And no one suspects a thing. For the next half hour, we are parent-free and completely in control. <laughs> what the? Oh, man, my mom activated the shield. Nothing can get through that thing. Why'd she do that? Don't you get it? She must have knew Lloyd would try sneaking out. It's like they're always one step ahead of us. Perhaps not this time. After all, energy shields are rather simple to bypass. One merely needs to cross this blue wire with this green wire and... Voila! Good, sweet, unsell of a hair! Commander, there's been a short circuit. The energy shield is down. What? Oh no, oh no! That sparkly cloud is headed right this way! <laughs> Lieutenant Larry, get a hold of yourself! Oh, hot Java, please calm my nerves. <laughs> Way to go, Douglas! Never underestimate the power of kids! Huh? What's that? Um, this is just a guess, but perhaps that is the reason the shield was up. Oops. Hey, it's gone! That wasn't so bad. Just some goofy, harmless cloud. Nevertheless, I recommend we sneak back to our homes post-haste and pretend nothing ever happened. Good idea. Say, uh, Boomer old friend, you won't tell anyone you saw us sneaking in, will you? Boomer? He forgot how to move! It's almost like he's frozen in place or something. He's not the only one. Look! Oh, man. Maybe that cloud wasn't so harmless after all. Indeed! It appears to have frozen everyone on board! Mom? Mom! Wake up, Mom! Wake up! What is going on here? Is she frozen, Lloyd? Yes, yeah, she is! My parents are frozen, too! As are mine! Mine are just standing around like a couple of dummies! Oh, there we go! Commander, at long last I've completed my analysis. Oh, my. It seems I'm too late. Too late for what, Station? What happened around here? Oh, Lloyd. Well, as you probably noticed, Intrepidville was recently enveloped by a mysterious cloud. It appears this cloud had unique properties of electromagnetic flux which were oscillating... Forget the mumbo-jumbo, man! Cut to the chase! Um, in short, your parents' brains have been put to sleep, immobilizing their bodies. What? Oh, don't worry, it's a harmless condition. Their brain should wake up in approximately 24 hours, and it'll be as though nothing ever happened. Whew. Oh, what a relief! That's not too terrible. But hey, what about our brains? Are they gonna freeze too? Oh, no. The condition only affects those with fully developed brains. In other words, adults. Fascinating! Wow! Weird! No, my friends. I think the word you're looking for is... Woohoo! I don't speak owl language. Ugh. Come on! No grown-ups means no rules! Anything we've ever wanted to do, well, now we can do it! And no one's gonna stop us! But they're gonna wake up! And when they do, we'll just pretend we were sitting home the whole time behaving ourselves! It's the perfect setup! I could conceivably chew with my mouth open! I can walk around in my underwear! <laughs> Sorry to rain on your parade, boys, but in events such as these, I'm programmed to babysit. And I'm not about to let you children run around unsupervised. <gasps> Station! Look! What's that? What? Where? What is it, Edward? I don't see any... Whoa! Eddie, you shut off Station? I won't tell him if you don't. Besides, we can always turn him back on when we want to, right, Doggy? It is a rather simple process. There you go! Now let's stop wasting time! We've got 24 hours. Come on, Lloyd. There's got to be something you've always wanted to do if your mom was frozen. Well... There is one thing. Ah, oh, here we go. The spear commander's jacket. Very cool, Lloyd. That's Commander Lloyd to you, Horton. <laughs> <laughs> Batten down the Admiral. Swab the torpedoes. If anyone needs me, I'll be driving my fancy chair. Yee <laughs> Uh, Commander Lloyd here. Commander Lloyd? Hey, what's going on? My old lady's frozen. We was just about to wrestle. Oh, yeah. The rest of the kids are going to want to know what happened. I guess it's time to address your crew. And, and so, so anyway, anyway kids, kids, kids from Bill, that's, that's the way, the way it, it is. is. I know our parents look kind of weird right now, but they're going to be just fine. And like my friend First Officer Eddie points out, if you want, you can even consider this an opportunity. Go ahead and relax. Have a little fun if you want to. Because until tomorrow night, there are no rules. This is Commander Lloyd, uh, signing out. Well, how was I? Do you think they'll handle this all right? Hang on. Wait for it.
is how a space station is supposed to look. Well, lads, what shall we do now? Roam the halls in search of adventure? Let's do something wacky. In our underwear. What are you talking about? Let's do what we wanted to do in the first place. Let's go ride my Star Surfer. Oh, yeah. Star Surfer. Careful idea. I left it down in the docking bay. Come on. Hey. Francine? Where have you been, Lloyd? I've been looking all over for you. I waked up at home and I was all alone. Oh, I'm sorry, sis. I forgot all about you. Yeah. Well, that's crummy. And I heard your big, dumb speech on a loudspeaker. It was dumb. And you are not a commander. You're just dumb. I really am sorry if you got scared, Francine. But don't worry. I'll tuck you back in and you'll be fine. I don't want to go back to bed. I'm staying with you. Oh, great. Oh, boy. Um, I can't just leave her. <sighs> oh, all right. You can come, Francine, but you got to stay out of the way. Because us big boys are planning on having the most fun we've ever had. Yes, a cornucopia of fun. Don't worry, big boys. You can have your fun. Right after we pick up all my friends. Friends? Oh, Francine, I'm so glad you came to get me. I was so scared and all alone. That's okay, Bitsy. I knew you would be. But now you're with Betsy, Tippy, Pippy, and me. Hi, Hi Bitsy. Bitsy. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Tippy. Hi, Pippy. Gosh, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, too, Bitsy. I feel happier now I'm with you guys. I feel happier, too. Me, too. I'm really happy. How about you, Betsy? Are you happy? All right, all right. Enough with the happy report. Yeah, now that all you little kids are feeling safe and cozy, let's go have us some fun. You said it. That's right. Here, here. <laughs> Check it out! It's a miracle! A hallway filled with salt! That ain't salt, Kurt! It's snow! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hey! What'd you do that for, man? You dopes think we're gonna let you play in our snow? Your snow? We made it! I busted the temperature control. And I turned on the fire sprinklers. And that's how come we got snow! Hey! You can't just go around busting stuff! You're the one that said there ain't no rules, Jacket Boy! <laughs> Oh man, I hate it when this happens. Ah, oh, great job. Now you got Elmer's eyeball stuck to that frozen water pipe. <gasps> this is a catastrophe! <laughs> it's really more embarrassing than it is painful. Not your eyeballs! Rodney's frozen that water pipe! Don't you see? When water freezes, it expands! And when freezing water is trapped inside a pipe... You think it's a tummy ache? The pipe ruptures! By the sound of it, this pipe is now leaking one level down! Hey, thanks for the science lesson! Come on, guys, let's go find some more controls to mess with! <laughs> <laughs> oh, great! Now what do we do? Run away? We must investigate the leak! My Frango's freezing! I'm hungry! I gotta go party! Me too! Um, all right! First, everyone downstairs! Come on! <sighs> I'll, uh, just wait here! All right, B-level, corridor three. Yes, by my calculations, the broken pipe should be past this door right here. Hey, that's my star surfer! Finders keepers! Great, now we can't even go surfing. But hey, good news, I don't gotta go party no more. Oh, gross. Oh, man. Great Scott. Hey, look, there's the leak. <laughs> Well, that's a rather large leak. In order to patch it, I'm afraid we're going to have to turn the water off at the source. Where's that? In the municipal water and power module, F level. But that's four levels down. It'll be a quick trip in the elevator. <laughs> Although, with the electricity out, I suppose we'll be taking the stairs. Oh. There we go, we're back online. Luckily, they only broke a plasma transistor. Boys, let this be a lesson. Never play with a slingshot in an electrical generation facility. Who do you think you are? My mom. Good one, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you kids? Whatever happened to children respecting their elders? <sighs> Whatever happened to common sense? They could have put an antenna out with that thing. You know, guys, this has been one disaster after another. Bad stuff just keeps on happening. The kids around this place are out of control. You're right, Eddie. I'd say it's time I made another announcement. <clears throat> kids of Intrepid Bill! I repeat, Kids of Intrepid Bill! This is Commander Nebulon speaking. Well, you know, Lloyd Nebulon. Earlier tonight I told you how you should go ahead and do what you want and forget about the rules. Well, now I realize that that was a bad idea. I mean, let's face it, it's getting crazy around here. Someone's gonna get hurt, and Eddie and the guys and me are having a real crummy time trying to fix everything. So what do you say? Let's all work together and act nice. Please? Good thing we're at this here control panel. I can disconnect the stupid intercom so we don't gotta listen to Mama Nebulon no more. You're a genius! You rock the house! Whoa! I guess I really do. 
What was that? Oh no! Look! Great Quasar's ghost! Somebody disconnected the station! Just great. Intrepidville's busted up, its pieces are drifting aimlessly into oblivion, and now I'm never gonna get to ride my Star Surfer. Half a Krontar down the drain. Wake up, Mommy! Wake up! I'm stuck here with a bunch of dummies and no one's in control or nothing! I'm afraid that will get you nowhere, Francine. The adults won't awaken for another 20 hours. Wait a minute! Douglas, what about Station? You can restart Station! He'll take good care of us! <laughs> As I said previously, restarting station is a rather simple process. Unfortunately, it can only be done in the mainframe room in Sector G. Currently drifting several hundred yards away. Then we're done for! Uh, yes, sir? Take those girls into the kitchen and make them some hot cocoa. Make yourself some if it'll help. Thanks, Lloyd. I think it would. Come on, girls. <laughs> Eddie, Douglas? Uh, Lloyd, before you start bossing me around, you're not really the commander, remember? It's just a pretend thing? Believe me, Eddie, nothing would make me happier right now than to have my mom telling me what to do. But she can't, so somebody's got to be in charge. Because personally, I don't like what happens when no one is. All right, just don't get stuck up about it. What's your plan, Mon Capitan? Access the bridge database. I need to know what this baby can do. Yes, sir! Eddie, get on the sensors. Lock in the coordinates of all the station's module things. Uh, aye, aye. Uh, hey, cool! I think I did it! Douglas, bridge specifications? I've got them online, sir. Anything useful? Why, yes, in fact, there is. This module actually has its own propulsion system. We can fly under our own power. Activate controls. Yeah! Uh, I mean, excellent. Eddie, navigate. Douglas, prepare, you know, the docking procedure. We're putting the station back together. the water, and for all Mom knows, we've been sitting at home this whole time behaving ourselves. So that's the story? If you still want that Krontar. How come you don't just tell Mommy what really happened? How you dumb guys almost ruined the whole station. 
That's what Commander Lloyd would do. Yeah, well, I'm not Commander Lloyd anymore. I'm regular Kid Lloyd. And you know as well as I do, there's no kid that likes to get in trouble. Shh, don't wake it up. Get a hold of yourself. Just calm down. Oh, okay. Jumping jabulations. This coffee is ice cold. Lloyd? Francine? What are you doing here? We've been waiting for you to wake up, Mom. Wake up? The funny cloud made you grown-ups go to sleep for a whole day. What? It's okay, Mom. Everything's okay. But the, the people, the crew, the station. Relax. They're all fine. We kids took a lesson from you adults. We made rules and we followed them. We acted responsibly and everything went A-okay. Lloyd, I... I don't know what to say. A whole day on your own. To think what might have happened. I'm so proud of you. I only have one question. What's that, Mother? Why is the station parked upside down? Uh, I can explain. Lloyd!